In the previous lecture, we introduced a concept known as X-ray diffraction or X-ray crystallography. And we said this is basically a technique that we can use to study the structure of molecules. So let's look at the following example that is basically a direct application of X-ray crystallography. Suppose that we direct X-rays with a wavelength of 0 0.1 to 0 nanometers at a crystal and the angle that the X-ray makes with respect to the surface of the crystal is 16 degrees. Assuming that we are examining the first diffraction pattern, find the distance between the atoms inside our crystal. So, let's begin by looking at the following diagram that basically describes what is taking place. So we have the following viewing screen on which the diffraction pattern is formed. This dashed line represents the surface of our crystal. And these red dots represent the atoms of our crystal. We want to find the separation distance D between any two atoms as shown in the following diagram. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to direct x-rays at the following crystal lattice. So, x-rays are essentially coming in at an angle of 16 degrees with respect to the surface. They are essentially reflected and eventually will undergo interference. Now, constructive interference is basically formed when the waves are completely in phase. And destructive interference takes place when our waves are completely out of phase. So constructive leads to bright fringes and destructive interference leads to dark fringes. So we basically want to use the Bragg equation given here to calculate what this separation distance is. So we're assuming that we know what this angle is. We're also told that we're examining the first diffraction pattern. That means M is equal to 1. And we also know what the wavelength of our x-rays is. So let's take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for d, our distance between our two atoms. So d is equal to m multiplied by lambda divided by 2 times sine of the angle theta. Now theta is equal to 16 degrees, m is equal to 1, and our wavelength is equal to 0 0.120 nanometers. Notice we don't have to convert from nanometers to meters because we want our our distance to be in nanometers. So, 1 multiplied by the wavelength divided by 2 times sine of 16, and that gives us about 0.218 nanometers. So, this is basically our distance between any two atoms within our crystal lattice as shown in this diagram. So, this is our distance equaling to 0.218 nanometers.